What's up guys, Madacaster here, and today we are in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. We're going to have fun with this one. We're going to modify our, or customize our garage a little bit. Uh, make things a little more, more comfortable. <laughs> I got the second bay, so now I have uh, the second bay. There was a big bus here. Uh, got rid of that. Got our second bay. Still haven't opened up this area. Maybe we'll do that today. We shall see. Guys. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I've been excited about this one, obviously. I've been doing live streams about it. If you guys want to catch up on any of the live streams of just kind of grinding, uh, just check under the live tabs of my videos. I leave most all of them up, I believe. And yeah, we've been, been having fun grinding over there. I haven't been doing it from beginning to end kind of story mode because there's just so many content creators out there doing videos on this game. And it would just be so redundant to go over each and every one of the cars in the quote-unquote story mode. It's kind of story mode where you just get more of a write-up on uh, what the car, you know, first like over here just says gearboxes, control and repair, gears keep slipping. Uh, this basically quote-unquote story mode just goes into a little more detail from the owner. I guess that's the only really difference I can tell, which is fine. No big deal, but I want to get to now that I've opened up the second bay, I just did it. I want to start customizing. And, the, and another reason I didn't start from the very, very beginning, because it's mostly just little brick jobs, tiny little things that are just kind of mundane. Now I'm starting to get into more of the more in-depth, detailed stuff that's a lot more fun. And that's when I'm going to start recording, as well as doing my live streams. My live streams have no set schedule. They just kind of come on when they come on and it works best for my lifestyle. So if uh, you need another reason to click that notification bell, uh, that would be why, one reason. If you want to catch a live stream, it will notify you when I go live. Uh, and then we can all hang out together. We have a lot of fun in those. They've been pretty awesome so far. Looking here, we have garage floor A. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to garage floor A and then down here we have our options. Well, that's kind of cool. It kind of tiles in all the rest that's around on the outside. I wonder how many options they have here. That looks kind of like uh, an old, I don't know, to me, like some old crappy hospital or something. <laughs> Not really into that. That's busy. It hurt my eyes over time. That's kind of cool. Brick. I dig the brick. So that's option six. That's in the maybe pile. What is that? Gravel? That blue looks like it's a tennis court or something to me. Uh, regular old concrete. Looked like there was more gravel there. Yeah, none of these are striking me as well as six. Oh, now there's wood. I like that. Ooh, that's classy too. Yeah, that's more wood. That's kind of what, what do they call that? Parquet flooring? I don't really know. There's another wood floor. That's bright. That's kind of cool. There is a lot of options, so that was what? In total, 24. And I might just change it here in a few minutes or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably change it at some point, but I dig it. That works. Now on to, what do we want to do? Let's look at our situation here vis-a-vis -vis upgrades. I have zero skill points available. I'd like to get this all the way up here, this, this line here, uh, because by the time that gets all the way to the top, I can repair body panels. I think that's going to be very important. The speed at which with we remove the fasteners is nice. Just kind of speeds things up a little bit. And the part unmount part speed. I do want to get this up to here because on this one it'll be... So this is 5% discount on parts you buy. Uh, this is a half off parking in the alley. And then this is another 5% off parts that you can buy. So that'd be 10% off total. And then it goes on to... Gives you ability to expect the value of a car. That's handy. Another 5% there, and 25% chance to get a mysterious case after finishing order. That's a nice little bump there, too. How much was it to expand the garage? That's another thing I really want to be able to do. Which option is that? This one here? Expand your workspace. 10,000. We're not too far off from that. The salvaging thing, I've looked into it. I don't see it's going to give me a ton of benefit. If I'm wrong, let me know. I just, I don't think it's going to be as much of a benefit as expanding the garage, getting the rotor lathe and being able to do the repair benches in there would be fantastic. So to be able to do that, we got to take jobs. This is an electric car. That's kind of cool. 
General running gear control and repair. Well, it just disappeared on us. Nope, there it is. Sloppy car steering, poor brake performance, and other tasks. Well, just for, to be a little bit different, let's go ahead and do that one. Oh, it looks good in black. Not too bad. All right, let's move this on inside and get going. Guys, I hope you're doing well. I certainly do. I always do. Did a live stream last night and had a ton of fun. I can tell you right now that ABS module has an issue. These electric cars are cool. Just so different. And that, that comes, that's a DLC too. That was a, uh, a release date DLC thing. That was pretty cool. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Part not discovered. It's only three parts. Oh, we got other stuff here. Oh yeah, we got, we got quite a few things here. Okay, well let's start our inspections. These take a little while, but yeah, speeding these up would be nice too. That's one of the uh, upgrades you can do is to speed up your inspection time. But it is a handy way to get XP and get a better understanding of what's going on with the car. And I can already tell that inner and outer tie rod over there on the left side would be the right side of the car. Left side of your screen, that inner and outer tie rod is bad. Battery pack, we can't really check yet. Brake booster, ABS module, can't check that. Washer reservoir, we can check. And then the suspension area here. Okay, that all looks pretty good. We've got the engine, or in this case, I would call it a motor. That is an electric motor. That all looks fine. I'm sure it's all just suspension stuff. I believe that was mostly the complaints on this order. I've been having a ton of fun with CMS 2021. I really have. It's just uh, so relaxing. <laughs> just as relaxing as CMS 2018. I've been asked, are you going to stop doing CMS uh, 2018 videos? No way. Not at all. I've actually got one coming soon. That uh, found something really cool in the junkyard. I'm excited about that was a that was a fun one to do. Let's see what we did find here. Still part not discovered in general running gear control and repair. We did find those inner and outer tie rods. Haven't discovered that other part yet. Poor brake performance. Well, let's see if we can run the thing out on the test track. Move it out to garage entrance A. Get in. The load times are so much better. Yes, we can. So let's take it to the test track and see what we got going on with this Tesla Roadster. I'm just gonna call it what it's uh, what it's uh, going after. You don't hear much of anything. Oh man, this thing's got acceleration. That's for sure. Looks like it, somebody has not been taking care of it because that deck lid back there is in terrible shape. Here we go with the suspension test over the bumps. This thing really, go, go figure, electric car's got a lot of torque. And then brakes. Let's see what we've got going on with the poor neglected Tesla here. And it comes back, oh yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit wrong here in the suspension wise. Yeah, this thing's been neglected. Back to the car lift, we go. And did we find, yep, so it was rubber bushings, go figure. We've still got one something in the sloppy steering not discovered. And one not discovered in poor braking, which I know it's already that uh, ABS thing. We'll go ahead and knock that out now while I'm thinking about it. Oh, I see the steering rack down there is shot, so that's going to be the other other thing. Let's get it up in the air and get that off. The speed at which the fasteners loosen isn't too bad. I've got it upgraded, I think, two tiers up, and it helped a lot. Man, when I... That was another thing, was <laughs> making videos with the way... Without any upgrades on the uh, speed at which the fasteners come off and stuff, that was just going to be mind-numbingly boring because it just takes so long. Okay, let's get that steering rack out. And I want to double check over here. I always like to pull these off and check the wheel hub bearing. That seems to be something that goes out or can be one of the things that can be hiding in the list that you can't seem to find. Okay, so yeah, we found that. That was steering rack there. So now we know everything we need there. 
and here we have the ABS module, just like I thought it was gonna be. So now we have a list of everything we need. We can go to our inventory, yeah, and then make our list. They want this at 72% at least. This wheel hub bearing is at 75. They're not calling for it, so I'm gonna leave it alone. They seem to be okay with that. Inner and outer tie rod. ABS module, and then this was from a previous repair that I forgot to clear out of my inventory. So I do, oh, I do have the tablet. I keep going over the computer just because it's habit. But I'd love this little part of the, the new game. You just be able to open up your shopping list, click on the thing, it takes you right there. Love it. That's, that's just going to save so much time. Going to get our drain tool, another thing I'm getting used to. I've been dinged a couple times now. Some people may ask, what's with the uh, coolant on an electric car? Well, they use they do use a coolant to keep uh, the motor and stuff, and the controller, especially the electronic controller, keep that all cool and running as it should. Okay, over here. I'm sure you already knew that, but I'm sure some will ask. It's nice that in the electric car here, especially this little roadster, they're all in a all in a line right next to each other. Makes it easy. On to the brake master cylinder. Get our little sucker tool out. Pull out the old brake fluid. Put the new brake fluid in. Easy as that. Don't even have to bleed them. Mount the brake disc ventilated. I'll put that wheel hub bearing back in. Brake pads. Brake caliper. Put our little cap there on to protect that bearing. And we need to put on our inner and outer, our, our steering rack first. Jeez, getting ahead of myself. Our inner tie rod. Outer tie rod. Beautiful, now we are ready for our tire. On she goes. And on to the other side. Okay, I forgot to get that brake caliper. That's what I had to stop by and grab. Let's get this rubber bushing out of here. Because I remember there was rubber bushings that needed to be bought. I figure I'll just pull them all out, take a look. 88, 83, there's a 10 percenter right there. And how many did they... Oh, they're only calling... Yeah, they're calling for two. On to the back, see if the rubber bushing... Oh, I see it right there. That one is bad. We gotta get this shock absorber off. And pull this guy out. That was easy. Found that one pretty quickly. So we go over to our little spring compressor, spring puller, separate parts. And we just take it. That works a little faster than it did in the old one. Old school way too, just type in spring, rear spring right there. Now we put it all back together. There it goes. I'm still getting used to keep bumping into stuff because I'm uh, still getting used to this garage. Going back and forth between the two garages because I just did a video yesterday that will be coming out shortly after this one. Okay, so that's all in there. It's been a while since I've been taking jobs. Before in the, on the old channel, it's always just been getting re doing restorations, not taking jobs. and It's kind of fun to come back to this again. The grinding isn't so bad. I've kind of enjoyed it. We're getting close to level 10, which means we can start doing barn finds, but there's no point in going until we have a little more cash to be able to play with. That's the thing. you got to keep on top of clearing off your shopping list. It's handy, but if you don't clear it off, it can get confusing. Like, did I? What? Because it can, it can be left over from a previous repair and throw you for a loop for sure. I've had to do that to me many a time now. Just getting used to everything. On to the other side. Okay, let's check our status here. Everything is good to go. 
we can finish this order. I'm going to drop it down first. You don't have to, but I like to. Down on the ground it goes. It is ready to go. Poor neglected thing can go off and <laughs> continue its life of being run hard and not very well taken care of. Okay, that one was done. We're getting awful close. Oh, we just hit level 10. Nice. So that opens up barns, but we don't have the money. I don't want to waste a barn trip. We have three barns. See, I don't want to waste one of those without much money, so we're going to continue to save up a little more and unlock the car auctions. That'll be nice. That'll be fun. Let's take a quick job. See what we got here. Here we go. We got a Nissan Fairlady Z. I'll be more than happy to take that job. Love these things. This one looks a little rough, too. Poor thing. I like it in black, though. Looks quite nice. Move it to lifter A. Let's get to work on diagnosing what's up with this thing. Man, I love these cars. The old Datsuns. Oh, they're calling it Nissan. In America, we had it as they were Datsuns. Take another examination mode. We can check the cooling. Look over the engine here. Again, yeah, that little sped up examining thing would be nice. I can tell already that the exhaust is shot. Okay, the examination mode showed us quite a few things, but I didn't find a whole lot. We've already obviously got the catalytic converter middle, middle muffler, but we do have clutch pressure plate and release bearing. Other tasks, refill windscreen fluid. Not too bad at all. This is a nice little job on a nice little car. Let's take it up one level here. Go ahead and take care of the windscreen fluid. And in it goes. I love that they added this and as well as the uh, other fluids. I mean, there's always been oil, but uh, to add the power steering and brake fluid, I thought that was a really cool touch that they've added. Anything we need to take care of down here. Okay, so that'd be up in the air. That'd be up in the air. And that we've already taken care of. So now it goes up in the air. Yeah, this exhaust. Seen better days. Get that out of the way. Then we needed to get the drive shaft off to be able to get into the transmission. Take care of the clutch situation going on there. We'll run up in here. We we'll get the starter out of the way. And we can get the gearbox. I think we're gonna have to drive this car. That is my opinion, once we get done. Let's get this release bearing out. And the pressure plate. Got what we needed, and we are ready to repair our clutch situation, get the pressure plate back on. And the release bearing, there she goes. Right there, we can mount our gearbox, and we'll be able to mount the starter this is a quick little nice fun job. These are these are some of the fun ones. I really enjoy these. And then you get some that are real head scratchers. Like in the live stream, there was the the van that we did that man held me up for a, quite a while if you're interested in seeing that. That is in the live video tab. Then we got to get our exhaust system spin around here. There we go. Right there. All right. Catalytic converter, middle muffler, and rear. That completes this car, but we are going to take this for a drive. Why wouldn't you? See how the interior is modeled. Oh, wrong side. It's a fair lady, not a <laughs> 240. All right. Yeah, it's well done. And with the 280. Would the Fair Lady be the 280Z or 240Z? It's been a while. It's been a while since I've had to know that. But this is, yeah, this is modeled very, very well. And here we are at the racetrack. Now see, what I know that you can do in this game is alignments. And this car needs one. It's pulling to the left. But I don't have the tools just yet. It handles well. I like it. I don't want to wreck this thing, so I'm going to... It's a little bit squirrely here and there, and it definitely needs an alignment. But yeah, this thing drives... It's a fun car. 
A lot of fun. A lot of fun to drive. Just needs needs some body work. I'd love to own this one. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find it in the junkyard soon. Back to the garage. That job is complete. Task bonus, 271. Job bonus, 207. Total payout, 1,169. I'll take that. And then we always have inventory of parts, which is nice because we can sell those off. Doesn't usually bring a whole lot of money. In this case, 34 bucks. Hey, it is what it is. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this one. This is a lot of fun. CMS 2021. Look forward to many more because... Uh, yeah, I can't get enough of it. And if you want to join a live stream, uh, hit, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when I'm going live. Come hang out. We have a lot of fun. A lot of fun in the chat stuff. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.